Astronauts and What They Do by Lise Fitzleaders. The Earth. The Earth is the planet on which all humans live. We think the Earth is very big, but in space, it is just a small ball, a little bigger than the moon. At night, when you can't see the sun, you can really see space. It is black and quiet. In space, the sun, the moon, planets, and stars float around. Would you like to be able to fly into space? There are only a few people who are allowed to go into space as astronaut goes into space to see what can be found there. To make the journey into space, he needs a special spacesuit. Underneath his helmet, the astronaut wears a little cap. The helmet, the special shoes, and gloves are attached to the suit. This way, the astronaut is completely protected. Mm. He needs to be protected because in space, it can be terribly cold or awfully hot because there is no oxygen in space and humans need oxygen to breathe. There's a backpack with oxygen attached to the suit. On the belly of a spacesuit is a little computer. If something isn't working correctly, a light, a little light on the computer starts to shine. Cap, helmet, gloves, spacesuit, backpack with oxygen. One more time. Cap, helmet, gloves, little computer, backpack with oxygen, spacesuit. The astronaut goes into space in a space shuttle, which is a sort of rocket plane. In space, there's no gravity, so everything floats around, even the astronaut. His food and his toothbrush float too. How funny. That's why the astronaut sleeps in a sleeping bag that is attached to the wall. The astronaut uses the shuttle to travel to the space station that spins around the Earth all the time. Several astronauts live and work in this special station. Everything they need in space, like their food, has to be brought from Earth. Moon car. Space shuttle. Rocket. Sleeping bag. Space station. Food in little bags. One more time. Moon. Car. Space. Shuttle. Rocket. Sleeping. Bag. Space. Station. Food. In. Little. Bags. Before the astronaut can go into space, he needs to practice long and hard. He learns how to float and how to prevent himself from getting sick when he somersaults too quickly. The astronaut exercises a lot and eats a healthy diet. And of course, he has to learn how to work with all the equipment in the space shuttle and the space station. That is awfully difficult. At last, it's time for liftoff. Before he puts on his spacesuit, an astronaut goes to the toilet because in the space shuttle, there is no regular bathroom. It's hard work to put on a spacesuit, by the way. There are many layers. The astronauts are ready in the space shuttle. They have buckled up tightly. They have checked to make sure that everything is in order. The engines, the fuel, the computers, if just one thing doesn't work correctly, it can be disastrous. 
Luckily, the astronauts practice well and know what to do if something goes wrong. Three, two, one, go! The space shuttle is attached to rocket boosters. Those make sure the shuttle will go into the air super fast. It's time. The engines start. Three, two, one, go! Very soon, the space shuttle is high above the clouds. Wow. First, the astronauts fly through the Earth's atmosphere, and then they arrive in space. When the rocket boosters are no longer needed to move the shuttle forward, they are discarded. That way, the space shuttle flies to the space station alone. The space shuttle heads for the space station that spins around the Earth all the time. When it gets there, the shuttle connects to the station. There are other astronauts already working on the space station. Look! Everything floats around. Luckily, the astronauts practice how to move in zero gravity. It's time to work on special computers. That way the astronauts can discover new things about space and about nature. When he finds something interesting, he passes it on to researchers on Earth. Sometimes the astronaut studies himself. For example, is he hungrier in space or on Earth? Does he sweat more in space? Those are interesting things to know. If something has to be fixed outside of the space station, the astronaut has to go on a spacewalk. He puts on his special suit with the backpack that contains air so he can breathe while he makes the spacewalk. In space, it is cold and quiet and very beautiful. The astronaut has to be safely connected to the station. If he weren't, he would float away into space. Return with the top of a rocket. After a while, the astronauts are done with their tests. They leave the space station and go back into the space shuttle. Then they return to Earth because a space shuttle lands at such a high speed. The astronauts use a parachute to slow it down and help it stop. Astronauts who use rockets to help them return to Earth may need as many as three parachutes to slow them down. The tops of the rockets land in water. Thanks to astronauts, we know now more about space, but there is still so much more to discover. Space is so unbelievably big, <clears throat> excuse me, and there is so much that we don't know yet. Maybe you will become an astronaut and adventure among distant stars and planets. Who knows? You could walk on the moon or even discover a new planet.